Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to go over with you guys the content and all the issues and all the, the, the problems and the mess that we had today with FIFA Ultimate Team regarding weekend league rewards, regarding the player picks, regarding this new loading screen that we have, and maybe mention league SBCs um, and stuff like that too. Market movements with Thursday flipping as well. I want to talk through some of those things. But there are some hidden clues in this loading screen right here that I want to mention to kind of start things off. And of course, as we look at today's content. Now, I tweeted out today that it looks like we're getting loading screens as like content now because EA has changed the loading screen. For the first two days, they've had a screen for team of the year, they've changed it. So I would maybe presume that we're getting another loading screen today on Friday. That would make sense uh, since they've added two new ones for the first two days. This is also the actual in-game content that we got today. We got a uh, League SBC for the Air Divisi. Both these guys look pretty solid. So if you're somebody who does BPM, you like grinding League SBCs. Unfortunately, the packs for these aren't that great. So it's not really worth grinding through this SBC, at least stacking packs for team of the year. But uh, there are some people that are excited for that. And if you are, GG, those are some nice cards. And there's a lot of people out there that like to grind League SBCs. And I can respect that. I really can respect that uh, in this game. But I want to focus more on the loading screen and talk about some of the things that we can see from this loading screen. So I took a screenshot of this right before I started recording. And I want to show you guys some things. The things where we're going to get our clues out of this loading screen. Um, and this is kind of the second time they've given us clues inside of a loading screen this year on foot. The first time they gave us clues was during footmas, right? Where they had all the nationalities. They had the make a list and check it twice up in the top right corner. And they had some clues and for us about the promo kind of hidden and embedded in the loading screen. And I think we had that again here. We're going to zoom in and take a look at some of these water bottles that are below the player kits kind of in like the locker room for this team of the year. The first couple that I wanna focus on are on the outsides. It's these four bottles right here. See these bottles that have the flashback on them? They've got the flashback logo right here. There's two of them on this right side. Then you have three water bottles in the middle and then two other ones over here on the left side with the flashback logo. So to me, that makes it seem like we're getting four flashback SBCs during team of the year. And then the other three water bottles here in the middle have a design on them as well. And I've seen people kind of talking about this on Twitter today, not really sure of what this is. This looks kind of tough. It kind of looks like a mix between, it could either be the team of the year nominee card design, or I also think that this could have something in relation to these player moments cards right here, because these player moments cards are kind of, you know, like a player moment, like a, a wheel in time, right? And if you see the little dynamic image that they have for these is kind of like a, a tape and a rolling tape, right? And if we look back at this, this little thing right here kind of looks like the rolling tape uh, for like a player moments card. So I know that some people were thinking that these water bottles might be pertaining to team of the year nominee cards, possibly being back in packs or possibly SBCs like we had last year with the team of the year nominee Bale. We had David Silva. Um, I think there was one more, uh, Versalco, Versal Jekko, however you say his name. I honestly think that these this year might be player moments SBCs uh, because this really looks like that tape reel kind of thing to me that we see over here in the Di Maria card. So that's kind of my personal feeling about that. But they're starting to give us clues about team of the year in those loading screens, which, which I think is very interesting. And of course, that makes me think, okay, there's going to be SBCs during team of the year. How could we maybe prepare for that? Of course, the high rates are starting to dip down to a more reasonable point um, as we do near team of the year. I would still like to see them packed more though. They're not that low. The thing that's kind of holding them up and it's honestly kind of crazy to me because if you look at all the SBCs that are out at the moment, you know, 86s aren't that low. 85s aren't that low. 84s aren't even that low. And that just tells me that people are kind of finishing up these Schweinsteiger SBC, like they're doing that one. And that also tells me that they're doing this base icon SBC. They're like, they're shelling out 375K. And this, this SBC is actually working if the high rateds are still maintaining a decent price, especially like the 86s and 85s and 84s, which you need for those SBCs. Since these are still kind of inflated a little bit, um, I'm really thinking that people are doing base icons, which is sucking coins off the game at the, t at the moment, at the time. So that SBC is kind of working perfectly according to what EA wants to. But since we've had these these things that we've kind of seen here in the loading screen with the flashback and possibly with the player moments, 
that makes me want to look at SBC investing, stocking your club with fodders. We're definitely going to be looking at a good time to do that before team of the year starts or maybe right at the start of team of the year, trying to get some of these cards in our clubs to either make some coins off of or make SBCs cheaper as the team of the year does come out because it looks like they're going to be releasing SBCs during this promo, which is what they normally do. Um, but we want to be prepared for those and possibly be able to make some coins on those so we'll be watching of course the cheapest players by rating page and some of these guys have kind of you know stayed decently low these are kind of up a smidge after rewards i think honestly people are going out and doing a few of the maybe they finished the messy sbc uh right before it, it went away today um and stuff like that i guess so uh i would still like to see these cards drop a little bit more as we do head into team of the year though because we are getting very very close uh to that time frame uh over here so i'm gonna talk about rewards for a quick second i actually have my division rivals rewards right here i'm not gonna open these packs uh i got like rank three in division rivals rewards it's nothing really to look at but uh i'm gonna save those i'm gonna you know save packs this weekend if i can do an SBC or two maybe get a couple packs from objectives maybe i'll have like 15 to 20 packs as we hit team of the year and um then we will look into opening those packs during team of the year. So if you guys have packs in this weekend, if you saved them, GG's to you. If you guys are just waiting for that big time pack opening come for team of the year, it's almost here. You're going to be have fun. It's almost here. But regarding weekend league awards today, this was a crazy, crazy mess um, by EA Sports that started last night, even before I put yesterday's video out. Um, people started opening their player picks, you guys know, and there were not the red items. Uh, so this is kind of how they broke it down today. After a long day of no information, they said this. They basically, they tweeted out three tweets, and this was a summary tweet. They said, to clarify, there are there are possible three possible player pick scenarios. If you opened your player picks, claimed and redeemed, you get the updated player picks, and you keep those gold cards, right? Claimed but not redeemed, you keep those not good player picks with the gold cards, and you get the updated ones. Uh, so you actually get the best use if you claimed. So if you didn't claim your awards, you won't get the gold player picks. And some people that I've seen on Twitter actually got out of the the glitched player picks. They got some decent cards. I don't know if you guys know Buck Army, but he packed Gold Harry Kane, which technically should have been an inform card anyway, since he's got an inform in Team of the Week. But uh, you know, if you claimed your awards before this whole debacle came out today, you actually got a couple extra player picks with. The opportunity to get some untradeable cards in there that were just gold cards so uh that was that was like the only kind of unfair thing i guess if you would like to call this unfair at all but it's honestly just a huge mess they then tweeted out later tonight hey folks we've begun to resolve the player pick rewards issue which contained incorrect items you can expect the correct player pick rewards within two days two days man two days man it's gonna be literally you might be finished with your next weekend league before you get your player picks um for the last one which is crazy to think about right so that just really sucks um i know a lot of you guys i saw a lot of you guys that got like elite for the first time or their best ranking of the year for some reason and you're not able to you know get those cards out of your player picks and that's just a huge mess so i apologize for all you guys uh, it sucks that we have to deal with that, but it's just kind of the way it is. And uh, it's kind of funny to laugh at too, right? You know, we can we can expect some mistakes here and there, but this week, this week on FIFA with all of the EA's mess ups with, um, um, you know, the wrong rating for Harry Kane and Team of the Week, incorrect ver uh, words and typos and tweets, and now this, it's kind of just been one of those weeks to forget about uh, for EA Sports. So that is definitely something that is unfortunate, but something that we saw on the game today so again i want to look at thursday flips really quick for a little bit um I, I talked a lot about premier league stuff last night on the stream i talked a lot about premier league stuff for the thursday flips there was a lot of stuff again in that lower edge of the market that did well today again under like three hundred and fifty thousand coins was really the move for a lot of stuff uh today i still have a couple cards that are selling right now into the evening time uh and you know you can always kind of stretch out especially with the fact that we didn't get a lot of content today. I didn't expect anything. I didn't really see the need to have to sell your cards by Thursday at 6 p.m. UK. A lot of times when we're not sure if there's an upcoming promo or last year we had a promo on this date and it should be coming this week, that's when we sell before 6 p.m. UK on Thursday. 
but today was not one of those days. So it was a good day for Thursday flipping. If you're on the lower end of the market with informs and stuff, it definitely worked out. I'm trying to get my messy to sell somewhere around 1.2 million coins. I bought that at 1.099 last night. So that'd be a really nice flip. Uh, overnight if I was able to do that. I'm definitely going to get that out. And if you guys, again, if you have anything that you need to sell uh, before before team of the year, whether it be like a prime icon, uh, speaking of prime icons, I want to look at this guy really quick. Prime Rude Hullet was extinct last night at 9.25 million. Actually, somebody in the YouTube comments, you know who you are. Somebody asked, should I sell my Hullet at 9.25 is extinct? I told him, yes, please do that because this card's gonna get packed a lot as we head into team of the year, and he's now down to 8.7 million. So we went from extinct at 9.25 to not selling at 8.7. So I really hope that guy in the comments, if you're you, I really hope that guy sold his hullet for nine mil because uh, he sold that at the optimal optimal time. A lot of the prime icons went a little bit lower today. Some of the base, the lower tier icons, they did move up a little bit. You know, one of my favorite examples is this guy right here. Ian Rush, his uh, baby card. This card's at like 230, 240. Now it's all the way up at 260, 270. So that card rose up a decent amount. Again, it was kind of the lower tier stuff that rose up, which is what we've been seeing in the most recent weeks. Inform special cards. And one thing that I want to take note of is if you have a little bit of time, uh, like Friday night, Saturday, go ahead and take a look through this team of the week page, which is players drop down on Flippin, go down to Team of the Weeks, scroll through this page and look at some of the cards that did really, really well from the, the, from all the Team of the Weeks and the special teams of special cards we have gotten. Because if you take a mental note of the stuff that did really well, like this Serge Gnabry card did fantastic this week. Uh, he was in Team of the Week this week, of course. He was at 58K at one point on Monday. And he wrote, he's already 74,000 coins. Even yesterday, Wednesday before rewards, you could have got him at 58, 60,000 coins. And uh, after rewards, the man was up all the way up over 70,000 coins. So that was a great week in League Riser, um, a flipper. But if you just kind of look through these Team of the Weeks, you know, take 15 to 20 minutes and scroll through some of these Team of the Week cards and notice the ones that really rose up a lot this weekend. That is really good for just your knowledge and for your knowing of which cards rise. And you should expect to trade with those cards a lot more on uh, subsequent Thursday flipping periods after this one, right? Because it just shows me and it shows you and it just kind of shows that there's demand for that card on this market. Even in a time in the market where a lot of people aren't buying cards for their teams, this market is low right now. This is market is very low, not a lot of coins because people are expecting a huge promo, one of the biggest promos of the year. This Theo Hernandez card, 84 rated, 77,000 coins before rewards. What happens after rewards? The man goes from like 77, 80K all the way over 90,000 coins where he's at right now. So that's a really nice weekend league riser. Again, if you have some time, scroll through these team of the weeks, find the, one, find the ones, to, find the special cards that had the best return on investment. Kind of make a mental note of that, right? Jot down those cards and then you can refer back to those for possible Thursday flipping opportunities in the future. So that's something that I wanted to note with you guys as well. And again, if you have anything, I mentioned this a little bit earlier, I started to talk about it, but if you have anything that you need to get out of your club this weekend that you think is gonna drop down a lot, whatever that card may be, uh, this is your opportunity to sell it, especially, um, you know, a lot of people think that some of these cards are gonna dip down a bunch in price, you know, like your Mbappe, your Neymar, some of those guys. Uh, there's a lot of people in this game right now that think that they are going to drop in price a lot. I'm still a little bit unsure on how I feel about some of that stuff. Um, if the gold cards are really going to drop that much because, you know, yes, there's probably going to be a weekly sell-off. How much is Neymar? How much is Neymar? Wow, Neymar is 700K. Okay, that tells me this is going to go a decent bit lower then because he was 700K before rewards, right? Uh, and this guy last week was out of packs and he was 650,000 coins at one point in the weekly sell-off. So with this not selling at 700K right now, I would do I do think there's a possibility that this again goes to 650 uh, in the weekend league sell this weekend. So keep your eyes on like a Neymar and Mbappe type of situation. Um, they could get as low as they did last weekend. I do think that seems more of a possibility now than I thought it, it was before. Um, I honestly thought that maybe the lowest prices we were going to see on these two cards specifically was going to be last week. But it looks like as of right now that they could go lower. So maybe you see Mbappe down like six 
40, 630, that would be super duper low for his car. Maybe even closer to 600K flat if it gets really crazy out there. But that's going to be another chance for you guys to pick up on some of those cards if you want them for post team of the year because... You know, Mbappe for sure, I would expect him to go out of packs. Neymar is kind of on the edge, iffy situation. Maybe he gets into like a 12th man kind of thing this year. Maybe they do something different with Team of the Year, of course. We've thought about that. But, um, you know, that's kind of one of the risks you run. But there's so many people that want to buy the meta cards like that, the meta cards like Messi, like Ronaldo. Um, the fact that these cards are so low is honestly really crazy as well. So what's Messi at right now? 950? 930 okay so he's like 930k ish yeah right around 930k i'm 35 i saw that one yeah so like 934,000 coins for messi i do think you could find that at around 900k with his um the the play of the month SBC being gone and new player of the month uh voting out for la liga you know that's possibly something you could see rise a little bit this week this messy cards messy cards all around you could see rise it just depends on prices of team of the years and how the pack weight is and some of that stuff as well i want to end the video today just kind of a general market talk video again these videos are just kind of like whatever happens on the market for the day right because we're just kind of monitoring the market right now talking about things in the market as we near team of the year and the ton of the market movements that are going to happen with that promotion but right now it's just kind of in like that you know waiting period we're not exactly there yet so we're still kind of just waiting for all that to come uh but one last thing that i want to talk about is team of the year upgrade packs and possibly getting your club ready for some of those uh and this is what i want to i, I want to kind of present an idea to you guys this is something that i did last year during team of the season i know a lot of people did as well and this is just something that you can do right now if you want to. Uh, I just bid 700 on that. I didn't want to. I want to bid 650. But this weekend, maybe at late at night when there's not a lot of people looking at the market, if you want to, this is something that's purely up to you. If you're somebody who's going to do a lot of upgrade packs during team of the year, something that you could do to get a head start either at the beginning of team of the year during lightning rounds or even beforehand is start to stock your club with rare golds, right? Because if they put out upgrade pack sbcs we're talking the premier league upgrades premier league premium upgrades i do think they're going to drop some sort of sbc and people are going to hit those upgrades with team of the year cards being in packs you're gonna want to probably stock your club especially if you're planning on doing a lot of upgrade packs and i mean i'm probably going to be doing a million maybe even two million coins worth so about half of my total coin value on upgrade packs um this is something that you can kind of consider stocking your club, at least going through the major leagues, going through the Prem, going through La Liga, going through Bundesliga, possibly even League One, especially League One with the uh, very few amount of rare cards that it has in that league and just stocking your club with those, I think is a good shout. Trying to get them for like, you know, anything that's an under 82 rated card, get it for 650 or 700 coins. And then if it's an 82, maybe you spend 750 or whatever. But doing a club stock on those cards can save you a lot of coins when those SBCs come out. And all gold rares go up like 1k. So that could save you some coins if you go ahead and do that beforehand. And if you're really, really ballsy, I was kind of thinking about this tonight. I was talking to another guy in the FIFA community about this. Um, would it be worth it to go unassigned on these cards for when they do put the upgrade SBCs out? Because if you think about it this way, if you buy like a thousand cards at 750,000 coins, and that's so it's if you buy a thousand of the rare gold cards at 750 coins uh or if you buy yeah if you buy a thousand of them at that price instead of buying a thousand of them at 1k which is what they could very easily rise to so if you go unassigned basically and just stock a bunch of rare golds that you're going to put into sbcs those league upgrade sbcs uh you could save yourself some big coins on doing packs and that would allow you to do more packs for the amount of coins that you're buying cards for so if you think about it that way, I'm kind of tempted to do that. I'm going to think about it a little bit more over this weekend. I'm probably not going to end up doing it just because I don't want to be unassigned and I hate being unassigned. But that is something that either from a trading aspect, if you want to try to make coins off of that, or if you wanted to get ready for a team of your upgrade packs, uh, that's something you can kind of think about and put in the back of your mind as well. But a club stock would definitely be something I would recommend. Club stock with some, some of those you know discard gold cards from the major leagues. If they do put out upgrade packs, which I do think they will, 
you probably will see some of those cards rise up. Like, boom, I just got Milelovich right there, 700 coins. I'm going to chuck that in the club. He's probably going to get put into some sort of SBC. So if you're not somebody who's going to be opening a lot of packs during team of the year, then I would say going out and buying some of those cards, you know, even spending like 100,000 coins and bidding on a bunch of those cards could save you some coins heading into the upgrade pack time frame where there's going to be a lot of upgrade packs opened on this game uh, during during uh, team of the year. Now, of course, you're banking on the uh, you're banking on EA Sports and you're relying on EA to put out a decent upgrade pack SBC, which you know we don't like to rely on EA Sports for a lot of things, especially in terms of content and SBCs. But uh, they they do upgrade packs every year for this promo, so I would say that it's very very likely that they come out and um, they will probably require some rare gold cards. So. That's just something that I was thinking about towards the end of the video that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, but yeah, crazy day on the market. Again, each day by day, we're getting into closer and closer into team of the year. More and more stuff is being revealed about that promotion with the loading screen. So keep an eye out for today's loading screen. Could be something to keep an eye on as well. And maybe we've learned some more about the promotion through that loading screen. If you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.